Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a general reading, but I do post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. Let us begin. What advice do you have for Capricorn, please? What messages does Capricorn need for the best and highest good of all involved with Capricorn? Guidance for Capricorn, please. We will start by laying out the tarot. I am going to pull a Moonology manifestation card here. These have been shuffled already. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, it does something to the algorithm so that people will see the reading. I'd appreciate it. You've got the sun. We love that. You've got the tower. We like that too. We don't, we don't shy away here. You've got judgment. You've got the two of swords. You've got the queen of swords. You're definitely going to cut out something that doesn't serve you. Or if you've been in kind of caught in the middle, I see that coming to an end. You have the king of pentacles. You have the Two of Cups, and you also have the Hanged Man. Now, if you're asking about reconciliation, and it seems like there's no path back, it just hasn't been moving, I do feel like somebody here, you've got a change of heart showing up here. We have three major, no, I'm sorry, four major arcana, so half the reading. And especially with the Tower and the Hanged Man, you have a tipping point and judgment. You have a turning point, but it's going to bring better times ahead. So you have the Full Moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. Now, I will tell you this. If you had some kind of a challenge and you end up being the one that gets moved, whether it's at work or it's in a living situation and it seems like it's unfair, it seems like, why are they doing this to me? Why don't they move the problem? Or why doesn't that, you know, that sort of a thing. I feel like if there's something in your life that you think is unfair, it is going to work out so much better for you. It's, it is one of those times where sometimes we can't always see it. So it may be this too, <clears throat> why this is here as well. Um, or even a relationship where it just wasn't really going to move forward in the right way. I do feel like with this, you're, you're, it's going to be a huge relief, all right? Just trust. Trust in the universe. Eventually, right? We always say eventually, and it's like, well, I want now. I don't want to be in pain. Well, who does, right? So, <clears throat> you know what separates judgment and the sun? Actually, nothing in the order, but in this case, we're going to put the two of cups. You're coming into a place where things are going to be so much better. If you've had anything that was challenging, difficult, or just would not move forward, this is where everything seems to move forward. In terms of a relationship, though, too, you do have real love. And the Two of Cups is worth the investment. So with that sun energy, it's all about being with a perfect match. It's finding your people. So especially, too, if there's a work thing, and it's like one of those things where you like a lot of the people you work with, but there's a few that you just are not cohesive with. I just feel like somebody here is going to be moved and it'll be so much better for you that it'll be silly. It'll seem silly that it didn't happen sooner. The universe has perfect timing. Now, I've had some gut punches in my life where I said, oh my God, I needed to be watching The Secret every day. I mean, this was 10 years ago or so before I, I mean, I've always been hooked into spirituality and I, I read the book um, by Shakti Gawain, uh, Creative Visualization, when I was 17 years old. That really introduced me to how do we create with our mind. I didn't understand the power that I had at the time. But when things have happened in my life, I realized it was me, that I was in a different energy field, and that's how they happened. I mean, that's just, it's just my experience. But I'll tell you what, <clears throat> they always happen for you, even when they're difficult. I always say, well, the universe, why you, Why did you pick that path? I mean, isn't there some other way to deliver this? But we're here in training. And with the sun energy, it is truly one of the happiest, blessed cards in the deck. It is truly a time where you feel on top of the world. It's victory, success. That little androgynous child not only commands a horse, and the horse represents your deepest, purest desires, pure motives, and trust. But that little ch child waves that banner of victory. Now, for some of you, too, if this is about fertility, and also, too, for some, you may be, um, this is a symbol of bringing a child into the world or into your world in some capacity. It's a very layered, rich card. And so 
I do feel like with this, I just wanted to stare at it for a minute. There was There's something about it that's just so mesmerizing to me. But with this, it's truly a time of liberation of your, your life reaching a higher level. It's a card of ascension and illumination of your life. So where there's darkness, there will always be light. And guess what? You do have a bit of darkness with the tower. But the tower also represents our shadow. So for some of us, it's a deeper understanding of ourselves. So if you did go through something challenging, you are going to have greater command over your life than ever before and over your power to attract because you'll be so much more in tune with it. We get sloppy. We get tired. My God, life beats us down with a club. And then we go, how did I get down here again? Well, it was life. You know, there's always some day, some turning point where life will have us flat on our backs, but we get back up and we keep moving forward. The good news with the tower is it takes away something that was not sustainable. The tower is an awakening. It is the corporate raider. It is the card of breakdown for breakthrough. And I always say this, you know, I do let go or be dragged. So when a tower moment is happening, what well, you don't want to resist and fight tooth and nail. We want to seek to understand it. We want to understand people. We want to understand it even better than people, ourselves better. But it's often triggered by a deep desire. We have a deep desire for change. And there, there can be two times where we have a certain person who is not going to change, whether it's a boss who is enraged and unpredictable and challenging, or a coworker who's slimy and we don't like being around them whatever that is, or even neighbors, or a, you know, a relationship too that we just can't seem to get our bearings in. It just feels like whatever it was, we just couldn't quite get your bearings and get back to center with it. And so guess what happens? Judgment comes in, the Archangel Gabriel. This one comes in to guide you on your divine life purpose. Doesn't that seem important? So this is a card too that works in terms of creativity and communication and any roles or associations with that. It's also associated with, of course, announcements. He's the great messenger between the human and the divine. And so when the Gabriel blows the horn of ascension, this is an announcement who is getting into heaven. So if you've been entered in some kind of a lottery pool, if it's for something like a move or an admissions into something, here's your ticket. Here's your lottery right here. Here's the announcement. This is the Archangel, too, that helps us get things accomplished. It's a call to action. So I definitely feel like if you've kind of been doing status quo with an area of your life, you're going to move forward. But this is a time, really, that announces a fabulous job, being proud of your life, achieving. It's a time of review, and it's saying whatever you choose will be a success. There's no downside. You're relieved from anything here. Anything that holds you back, it's a time of being released from it all. So especially with the tower, that is a huge release. So the two of swords is like basically child's play. Now for some in this reading with all these major arcana that are all about announcement, announcement, release, you know, after a while, it's like, okay, okay, I get it. I get a change coming in. Um, so with this two of swords, I feel like too, you're going to be letting go of an old pattern. If you have an old pattern in relationships and that two of swords has just ha held you captive, I do feel like you're going to see what you need to see in order to move forward. And you're going to learn from what, what you need so that you won't repeat the lesson. Because with the queen of swords here, she can be the card of the attorney, but she's learned lessons, all right? She's a commanding a presence. She holds out her hand in command. That upright sword is also information. Upright swords are good in the tarot. We don't like these crooked swords. In fact, these two, the bottom one is fear, the top one is anger. That top one is ready to strike out, make a preemptive blow. Now, the queen of swords knows she doesn't need to do that because she wields her presence without the sword being wielded. She's also quite witty. She has sort of a sense of humor about anything she's been through. But communication, you've got multiple cards here saying there's going to be announcements, an announcement made that is going to move you forward, and you're not looking back, Capricorn. So it delivers you from something that just wasn't developing. Now, the King of Pentacles brings in money. We love this, King. It is a card, too, of meeting someone who can be a wonderful mentor in your life, especially if it's a job. If you had a, an awful ogre for a boss, you're going to have a boss like you've never known before. 
if you're starting your own business because you lost a job and you were like, I might as well, I mean, I might as well take a shot at this. I do feel like you're going to be the best boss you've ever had. I feel like you're, you know, you're an ambitious sign. We know that. You're not somebody who can't handle working for yourself, but this is money coming in. He's got the Midas touch. So you may find that out of something that seemed devastating, it was the best thing that could have been born for you. And it's right here. And this is the card in terms of money. You're at the top. There's definitely nothing missing. Now, in terms of relationships, though, he's a partner for life. He's very committed. So if you had one who was just doing all these mixed signals and making the relationship insecure, doing things like keeping in touch with 8 million exes who aren't even, he barely dated or she barely dated. I feel like with this, you meet one and it can be male or female who doesn't need that. They don't need that kind of attention. And that's somebody that needs a lot of attention. And so they're, they're never going to be full because they're not complete inside. So there's no point saying you complete me. Huh. The two of cups says, hey, I'm already complete, but I'm looking for a match. I'm looking for another who is also complete and just wants to share their life with me. And so with this, you have real love showing up here. You have somebody here who will invest the time, the attention, the in, all in to the relationship. And that's what this is about. You're finding a true match, no matter what you're asking about. So the hanged man delivers an epiphany. Let go or be dragged, as we said, surrender to win is this one. He holds himself in this place of sheer vulnerability because he knows he can. He's not afraid of anything. So as you move forward in life, I feel like you have nothing to lose but everything to gain. It's a time of making major gains with the sun. And with this, it opens you up wide to do just that. So let's see, guys, what the angels want to tell you. I think this reading is a real turning point for somebody. You're going to be coming into your own sooner than later. All right. What else does Capricorn need to know, please? Advice for Capricorn. You have trust. Trust that the universe is working with you, hears you, and wants to move you forward. The situation will improve. I should say yes. And you've got meditation brings answers because know that you're a spiritual being. And that's that's what we're, we're of the essence of the universe. So meditate so we can hear the universe within the next few weeks. And you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you and I'll be back again soon.